Hey guys, welcome back to another weather-related music talk with John. I don't know if it was last year, two years ago. It might have been two years ago at this point. I don't know. That I did one a video while a hurricane was happening, and I basically videoed the whole day. I think it was songs that I did last time where I just did weather-related songs, and I don't know if I did a countdown, don't remember. I know it was exciting because I ended up in the shower, and that got a lot of people all excited, you know, but I'm not going to promise that's going to happen again because that's pretty delirious by the end of that day. That one had me running around a lot. Okay, so we made it. It's about 11.30. Weather out there is still, you know, windy and rain here and there. So we, we got lucky on this one. So I've already done pretty much all my running around at this point. Everything's been put away. I did film as the day went on, so I'll be kind of putting pieces of the day in as I go through this, which I think what I'm going to do, songs that are weather, or not songs, uh, albums, like album covers or album titles, I think. We'll see where it takes us. If, if I can't find enough albums with weather related, I'll say there's a weather related song on this album. So we'll do it that way. But I'm going to try to start with albums that uh, deal with the weather, something like that. I already have a couple in mind, so I will go ahead and start doing that. And while I do that, I'll start putting in these little clips of how the day's progressed so far. And then what I'm going to do is kind of take you through the night after this. Let's get started. Let me go ahead and cut to wherever I started today. I think it was in my backyard or something like that. Then I'll bring up uh, my first weather-related album. So it is about 1130. And this is, this is unusual. Usually we get this back here where this gets flooded out when there's heavy rain. And you can just see what the hurricane's doing. Right now it's high tide, but this isn't, usually high tide does not affect this area. It usually stays pretty green. So it's already pushing some water up in here a little bit. Right now, from what I read, the hurricane is right around, like it looks, from what I could tell on the radar, it's past the Keys, just touching the Keys a little bit and the tip of Florida, right around there. That's the first update here. I'm gonna walk around the surrounding area of my neighborhood where there's waterways and kind of see what the difference is over there and I can point that out. So I'm already cheating a little bit, but it works. It's Miles Davis Water Babies. This was a, this wasn't the Record Store Day release. I think there was another one and I probably should have picked up, but I didn't. But I have this Water Babies. And since there's a lot of water involved with today's theme, I'm going to go ahead and go with it. I saw water babies. I'm like, yeah, because there's kids out in the street actually doing this right now. They're playing in the water. Well, I don't know if they are now. They were earlier when the rain was coming down a little bit and they were kind of playing a little bit. But this nice color vinyl reminds me of sort of the uh, blue stingrays vinyl. I don't know if I can catch it that well, but it's a nice blue. I don't remember if this was an official release or if this was like a kind of a compilation or pieces of things and put it together. If I remember correctly, if I'm wrong, you can correct me down there in the comments. I don't know why. Do you guys do that? I I, I replaced it with the poly sleeve that I just showed you, but I also caught, I kept the original sleeve, which sometimes takes up, believe it or not, some space in here. So I don't know. Do you guys get rid of the original sleeve when you replace it with a poly? Let me know what you what you guys do. I'm kind of wondering what I should do with that. So it's Miles Davis and who's on this? So obviously Miles on trumpet, Herbie Hancock on keyboard, Tony Williams on drums, Ron Carter on bass, and Wayne Shorter on soprano and tenor sax. And that's, I guess, side one. Side two, you have Herbie again, Tony Williams, Ron Carter, same cast, Wayne Shorter, and then you have on side two, to in addition to those guys, Chick Corea on keyboard and Dave Holland on bass. So I guess there's some change up. So yeah, I think it's one of those albums they put pieces together of it or something like that. It wasn't like they went into one session and just did it. I think this is a couple sessions. First entry, uh, Miles Davis, Water Babies. If you watch my videos, and I've seen the ones in the past, and oh, there we go, tripping. And you've seen the walk and talks. This is where I usually... Well, not usually, this is where I film some of them when I'm feeling adventurous and want to risk my life on the railroad tracks. This is an area I filmed in in the past. I can already see it looks like the water's come up over here because I usually don't see the water at this point. It's usually pretty low. So all that water that I showed you in my backyard there, this, this waterway runs to an area that leads up to my backyard and that's why it's pushing it up. For this area right here to be full of water is not normal. I can usually step down into that area and then the water starts right about right about there, somewhere in there. But you can, you, can, you can usually walk into that area and you can see it's, it's up. And hopefully you can hear me okay, it's really windy. This part right here is def yeah, all this is definitely up. Usually you can see the bottom from here and I can't see it. You can definitely tell this 
is rising just from being back here a lot. So here's the next album and cheating a little bit again, but these are things that kind of remind me, even though it's not quite weather related, it, it, it's in the theme of things because you have this hurricane out there in the Gulf that's moving up and you, you know where ships are and all that. I'm looking through my albums and I was going to do Alligator Boogaloo by Lou Donaldson, but I said, okay, because we did see an alligator today. I didn't go that far, but this is sea related, which involves a lot of water today so i was like well let's just do this one because i this is another one i know i uh this is an album i've listened to one time it's herbie hancock maiden voyage it's a blue note classic vinyl series herbie gets a little weird for me out there i can't do all of herbie's albums but this is one that i do enjoy and i like his stuff that he did with miles and things like that but he definitely got experimental a little bit later sea related right there's even a boat right there on the water. So it's, it's within the theme, so don't, you know, work with me a little bit. Who's on this? Yeah, Freddie Hubbard on trumpet. Yep, great. Uh, George Coleman, tenor sax, Herbie on piano, Ron Carter bass, and Anthony Williams on drums. And this features five songs. Maiden Voyage, The Eye of the Hurricane. There you go, The Eye of the Hurricane. There you go. See, I knew there's a reason I picked this album. Little One, Survival of the Fittest, and Dolphin Dance. So it's related. There we go. Here's another path I take on the way to the bridge. The water's flowing into here, probably out from that area I just showed you. But you can see the, how rapid it's going. The water never goes over that little wall over there. It's usually, I can usually just step down right there and just hop over to that side and go. Now it's a lot deeper, but I'm going to try to go ahead and hop over that part and take the shortcut. If not, I'm gonna have to go back all the way around. Cause that first part that I showed you, that was coming from like old Tampa Bay. So you have Tampa Bay, old Tampa Bay is kind of the area I live in, old Tampa Bay. And it flows into here. So it, this water, the way it's flowing is flowing all the way through to my backyard and all the way through here into some lakes that are back in the back here, hidden behind all this brush back here. Okay, I guess this is gonna be everything relating to a hurricane and weather and the Tampa Bay area. Sitting on the dock of the bay, Otis Redding. We'll get into more weather related albums. I definitely have some more coming, but you know, I gotta show off my Otis album. And this was released February uh, 23rd, 1968. This was his, the first posthumous album after the tragic plane crash and all that for Otis. But what a song. This is the first song I ever knew by him. Never really knew, you know, at the as a kid, you knew this song, the whistling part, all those things. And I just never knew what he had as a catalog before this. And this is so different to me. It's not like a typical one of his soul songs. It was a different type of song. And wow, when, when I started discovering more Otis, you go, wow. You know, try a little tenderness, all those songs. Holy crap. This has um, Sitting on the Dock of the Bay, I Love You More Than Words Can Say, Let Me Come On Home, Open the Door, Don't Mess With Cupid, The Glory of Love, I'm Coming Home, Tramp, The Hucklebuck, Nobody Knows You When You're Down and Out, and Old Man Trouble. Really good album. I don't have, I've got a couple comps from him. I have a couple full albums. I think I'm pretty close to having all the Otis albums, but love, love Otis Redding. So sitting on the dock of the bay, man, I can hear that wind blowing out there. This is kind of crazy right here because there's never any water right here. Here's the first little bridge that you cross and it's trying to get a good shot for you. All this water back here on both sides, there's never water there. Not even a good rainy day, there's never any water. And it hasn't been raining yet, so you can see where that, that pressure from that hurricane is pushing that water up into here. It's gonna get interesting later when that hurricane actually gets sort of parallel to our area. Next, we have an artist with the theme in his name. Blues artist, who, do you, who, who am I gonna bring up here? Who do, who do you think I'm gonna be talking about here? This is, the album's called Woodstock Album. This came on a record store day. The songs on this are Why Are People Like That, Going Down the Main Street, Born With Nothing, Caledonia, and Inside Two, Funny Sounds, Love Deep as the Ocean, Let the Good Times Roll, Kansas City, Fox Squirrel. Great, great blues album. A lot of really good people. Muddy Waters. Okay, if that's cheating, then oh well, I'm cheating. This is just reminding me of uh, everything I've seen today. So, Muddy waters i've seen today and i gotta show off muddy right this is a really good album came out record store day last year i think and who was on this i think i see some band guys here yeah garth hudson's on there leave on helm pine top perkins on piano fred carter man this thing's bent what the heck i just realized there's a 
got a bend in here. I'm not happy with that. What the heck? Why is it bent in there? Paul Butterfield, and there's Muddy. Uh, Howard Johnson and Bob Mar Margolin. Margolin. Kind of looking like Bob Dylan over there a little bit. But really good, uh, good blues-based album with those really good musicians on there. So if you get a chance to check that one out, definitely check it out. There you go. Muddy Waters Woodstock album. Very cool. To put this in perspective, so this is the path that I usually take when I'm doing my little walk and talks or if I'm out walking and I'm just talking about albums and not necessarily walk and talk. I guess they're all walk and talks. This water here that's up is not normally here either. And back this way, pretty much a straight shot that way, it runs into my backyard. So all this water being pushed up is similar to like the water being pushed up in my backyard. It's all connected right here. So I think I figured out the theme. It's hurricane in Florida. So anything hurricane and Florida related goes into this video. There you go. There will be some weather related things in here, I promise. But now I'm kind of getting what I want to do with this theme as I go along. So I had muddy waters, live in Florida. Got to have the beach boys, right? Beach, that's where all the water is going crazy and nuts right now, churning up out there. This is a really good collection. I like, when I like the Beach Boys, I like them. When I don't like them, I don't like them. I know Larry Graves over there, the Canadian Stud Muffin's doing his big thing now. He's going through a whole Beach Boys thing. But I'm like a greatest hits Beach Boy guide. I'm getting into Pet Sounds. Pet Sounds is kind of growing on me. It still has some, rough spots, has some rough spots for me. But this collection, I had a collection like this. It was only a single album, wasn't a double. From what I no, it might have been a double. And it wasn't this collection called Sounds of Summer. It was something else I ordered off like the TV or something. I just loved it. Played the crap out of it because I love that, that early Beach Boy stuff. My computer's talking to me here. But the, the big hits are here. It's California Girls, I Get Around, Surf and Safari, Surf in USA, Fun, 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 Surfer Girl, Don't Worry Baby, Little Deuce Coop, used to love Little Deuce Coop, still do. Help Me Rhonda, Be True to Your School, When I Grow Up to Be a Man, In My Room, God Only Knows, Sloop John B, that's one album. Then, Wouldn't It Be Nice, Get You Back, which I like that they put this on here. That was an 80s Beach Boy song, and I reminded me of the old Beach Boys. Love it. I'm glad they put it on here. Then Barbara Ann. So it's a good good collaboration of their music. Stronger in the beginning. Gets a little weaker towards the end, but definitely an album I can put on and enjoy all the way through. The Beach Boys. Here's the second bridge. I'm going to be really interested to see how this holds up. I just showed you one bridge and you can see it had all that fresh wood. And I think they were in the middle of probably working on this and they had to stop. I don't know if it's because of the hurricane coming or what, but these are going to have to be rebuilt. They're already a little flimsy. They've had to be replaced a couple times already. With those high winds coming, I'm going to be interested to see if these bad boys hold up. You can see where they're kind of bending out that way. And you can see they've replaced about half the bridge. You have the fresh wood and then the dark wood that needs to be replaced. But I, I wouldn't uh, doubt that this would be knocked down by the end of the storm if we really get some high, high winds. This is crazy because let me back it up. Can I back it up? Yeah. These branches here never touch the water. And they're actually being kind of dragged down. It looks like they're getting wet and just sucked down into that water and closing this path off. The path is never that narrow. But the water's high, high up on the bridge, um, higher than normal. And you can kind of see it here too, this, this path. And this, this is the path from that bridge over by the railroad tracks. This is the path that leads all the way and ends in the area of the neighborhood like between my house and other houses so this is the water you can see it moving the direction that it's moving right now is towards my house so that water is being pushed in the direction of my house so it's coming all the way out from old tampa bay to the back basically my backyard so i'll give you updates later see how high that water rises in the back next surf and burn by the blue stingrays definitely florida right you don't see much in Clearwater Beach as far as this kind of surfing, but like Daytona Beach, up in uh, like Apollo Beach or whatever it's called, where the space people blast off in outer space. They're surfing there. So Blue Stingrays, definitely Florida related with the water. This is uh, basically the Heartbreakers without Tom on a nice blue vinyl. There's no mention from what I remember on this. It even shows other albums. I don't think these albums exist. It's really hyped up to look like this album 
was the thing, and there's no mention of anybody on here. It's it's Mike Campbell leading it. He's doing the lead guitar. It's almost like this fictitious band. They really just went crazy with it. So if somebody just saw this, they wouldn't know what if they didn't know, they wouldn't know. If you know, you know. Really cool, just surf songs. I don't think there's any vocals on this. I think it's just straight out surf style music. There's uh, 15 songs on here and just really, really cool album. There you go, Loose Stingrays. Another thing I want to point out too that I kept meaning to mention, we really didn't get much rain last night. This is, yeah, definitely not normal even if we get a heavy rain. My backyard doesn't fill up when we get a heavy rain. It's always just during the time where we get a hurricane or something like that. Everything I'm showing you is not from rain. It's from the hurricane. That's pretty far out, not even up in our area yet, yet you can still see the effects of it. I was looking at the the map and it looked like that hurricane was a size like if it went right down the middle of florida it would cover florida that's how big that sucker is and it's a category two right now i'm just trying to put it all in perspective for you and you would think with all this wind and everything it'd, it'd be nice but man that tropical humidity is still thick in the air i'm like sweating behind the camera right now here's another little opening this doesn't seem to have changed much that one little waterway that i showed you where i had to jump jump over it flows into this lake back here this is that lake i was saying that was hidden as the wind pounds out there and i can hear the the rain whooshing there's a window like right there behind this camera whooshing on there and just being out in it today and everything how can i not show this album because it's slippery when wet this is what a, i think a garbage bag they wet it down and somebody wrote that on there like the first side mostly second side is doable the Never Say Goodbye is probably the biggest song off of the second side. And I Die For You, probably those two songs. But the, the first side of this album is so strong. It comes out with Let It Rock. It's kind of like an anthem song. You could tell they did it so they could kind of come out and have a big boom, you know, in concert kind of thing. But You Give Love a Bad Name, Living on a Prayer, Social Disease. You know, it's, it's okay, but it does not compare to these songs. And then Wanted, Dead, or Alive. That is just a strong first side. And like I said, the other two on the second side. I enjoy the album. It's not like there's any song on here that I just don't like. But there's some songs that are so strong. It makes the other ones stand out when they're not as strong to me. So I only own two Bon Jovi, this one. And, well, I have New Jersey on CD. I'm just purged out two New Jerseys because I wasn't happy with them. But I am looking for New Jersey. So that's about my extent of... Uh, where I'm going to go with Bon Jovi, just Slippery When Wet and New Jersey. That's pretty much all I need. They have a Greatest Hits out right now, one album, and they want like 30 bucks for it, and I refuse to pay 30 bucks for that album. They put it like at 20 bucks, even 21, I would pick it up because it has other songs that I do like Bon Jovi, and that would pretty much be the completion of what I need for them or want for them. Don't really need it, but I won't pay 30 bucks for it. I think that's a little too much. Bring that price down, Bon Jovi. And that's at Walmart, too. Anyway, slippery when wet. So this one has ocean in its name. And the album was recorded in Florida. And I just looked it up, and I always thought it was recorded in Miami, but it's closer to Hollywood, which I believe where Billy Joel has a house now. It's right off the water. It's Eric Clapton, 461 Ocean Boulevard. One of my favorite Clapton albums. When did this bad boy come out? 1974. And it uh, starts off with some really guitar work with Motherless Children, over, overlay, overlay, overlay of that guitar riff running through there. Really cool way to start an album. Then it has Give Me Strength and Willie and the Hand Jive, Get Ready. I Shot the Sheriff is probably the biggest hit off of here. I Can't Hold Out, Please Be With Me, Let It Grow, Steady Rolling Man, and Mainline Florida is the last song on there. So. There you have Clapton. It's pretty cool because if you pull up that 461 Ocean Boulevard, it shows the house how it looks today. You actually pulled it up. I just looked at it pretty neat. So there's Clapton. Clapton again on the back playing the guitar. There's the inside of it. 461 Ocean Boulevard. So it's 3.30. The winds are definitely picking up. Oh, All this has come up over here. I don't know if you guys can see it off to the right. It's never that high. But it's never this high up here. If you guys can see the light in front of me that's moving up and down that's getting oh wow that's being pushed around a little bit so something's up fire truck ambulance another fire truck oh my coming. God. this one's a little closer to the original theme it's hurricane related 
Showed you my backyard. This should fit a little bit better. Hopefully you guys are still with me. But I'm really having fun with this. But this brings a little closer to the, 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 the original theme, which I've swayed from a little bit, but before, the flood. It's flooding out there in some spots. I don't know if I've shown you the video there yet, but it'll be in there. There's some areas that are flooding already, and I still have some more filming to do. But this is before the flood. We're supposed to rise about five more feet out there, so I'm going to go out a little bit and see what it's done, if it's gone up much. This is a... Mobile Fidelity Sound Lab, whatever your opinion is on this, I, whatever. You know, people don't like the digital step. I don't know if this one had one. Don't know. All I know is if I put it on, it plays nice and sounds good. I'm happy with it. I don't care how they got it there. And this one does sound really good. The songs on here, this is two albums. And it has, it's Bob Dylan with the band, recorded live in concert. It has Most Likely You'll Go Way Your Way and I'll Go Mine, Lay Lady Lay, Rainy Day Women, 12 and 35. Knocking on Heaven's Door, It Ain't Me Babe, Bowed of a Thin Man. Really good songs there. And I think, yeah, the version of Lay Lay Lay, Lay on here is much better. I don't like the recorded version of that song, but I like the version he does on here. Up on Cripple Creek, that's a band song, of course. I Shall Be Released, we're getting some band stuff here. Endless Highway, the highway they drove, the, hi the highway, uh, what's wrong with me? The night they drove old Dixie down. I get some glasses. And... Stage fright. Side three, don't think twice, it's all right. Just like a woman, it's all right, mom, only bleeding. Oh, great songs. The shape I'm in, when you awake, the weight. And then side four, all along the watchtower, highway 61 revisited, like a rolling stone and blowing in the wind. I mean, great mix of good, solid Dylan songs with good, solid band songs. And I think they released a big box set around this time, these con, these these uh recordings this concert these concerts whatever and there's like a million cds in there but i'm i'm happy with this version you know we'll see if the other one comes comes my way at some point bob dylan the band before the flood oh so category three goes up to 130 miles per hour that's why so they're expecting it to stay at like one oh, what the, oh, 120 yeah, a lot of people are leaving their stuff out. Even Halloween decorations, people are still leaving. I know. Let's I mean, see. I guess you can wait till to see what happens. This right here, where we are, floods. Just actually where we just passed also. This area will be flooded out. And let's see if this is flooded back here. So we're going to get out and take a look. We are? Hopefully you can hear me. But this is uh, Harbor Palms Nature Park, City of Oldsmar. This is part of the Oldsmar Trail that connects to the Pinellas Trail. This right here is flooded, which normally is not. So that means the water's coming in from right over there and heading all the way over there where there's like a retention pond. Normally you can ride your bike up here without a problem. You can see the entrance of this is already blocked and then a little bit further up there. If I can zoom in, there you go. You can see the water is over that bridge right there and that's not normal, obviously. Here's another good example this is actually coming in from old Tampa Bay right back here you can see that fence right there that's actually somebody's backyard right there there's a house further up on the left but all of this is getting none of this is normally wet there's no water that usually stands over here but it's coming in and you can see it is a good idea of how, how strong those waves are coming in through somebody's backyard Straight, straight back through those trees is old Tampa Bay. And I'm just keeping an eye out for any, any creatures because we've seen some alligators coming up, getting up on the land or right on the surface near the surface of the water near the edge. But all this back here, somebody's backyard, you can see how well it's coming in, even through those trees, how strong those waves are. This is just pretty wild right here. Now this one's weather related like I was going to do originally. I don't know why I keep apologizing for myself because I like where I went with this. Florida themed weather, hurricane, all that. Peter Gabriel. Uh, this was because he named all his albums Peter Gabriel. What did, what did he name this one? Is it Car? Yeah, it's Car. Named it Car. But as you can see, the car is drenched in rain. That's the weather. There you go. Weather related album. And he's kind of smushed up in there. I don't know what's up with Peter. Very odd picture. Even on the back, he's inside the wet car. I like the blue with the sort of black and white feel. Really cool. He, he didn't want any of these albums named, and he didn't name any of them originally. They were all Peter Gabriel, and they went back and named them later. So I don't think they have car or anything like that. It's just Peter Gabriel on this. But uh, when they got to sew, they're like, dude, you're, you're, this is going to be a big album, whatever. you got to give it a title. 
So he just called it so sarcastically. And he went back and named all those. And all of them, it makes sense. Like this is car, he's just in a car. You get a scratch, just one where he's going like this and the scratch is coming coming down. Melt was interesting, Is like half his face was melting. What is on this? I'm still, I'm collecting Peter Gabriel because I just love everything, but I'm still trying to I guess memorize his music, get more familiar with the music so I remember what songs are what and on what albums. I'm not quite there yet. Let's see, side one, this is really hard to read. Can't read it because it's like white lettering over like that wet look. It's really strange. Hold on a second. Time to get out the magnifying glass with a light. Side one, there it goes. No wonder I wouldn't be able to read that anyway. Moribund, the Burgermeister is the first song on side one. Salisbury Hill, great song. Modern Love, Excuse Me, Humdrum. Side two, Slow Burn, Waiting for the Big One, Down the Dulce Vita, and Here Comes the Flood. It's a good album. I enjoy all these Peter Gabriel albums. I'm just This came out in 1976, and I'm just trying to get, like I said, more familiar with the albums so I can remember what songs are on what album. Anyway, Peter Gabriel, either Peter Gabriel or Carr, however you want to look at it. This road brings you towards downtown Oldsmar, the, the original Oldsmar, where Oldsmar began before it really spread out. So you have a lot of the older houses back here. This guy's out here on his, on his bike. Yeah, he's out there riding his bike. I'm not sure what's happening here. This is flooded, and they're building a new house there, and that's already flooded, heading out towards the water. So this area is already flooded. You can see this house right in front of me. See, they, they have the garage and then it's a, a home above the garage. So they build them up in case you get that flooding. So you flood out your garage, but you don't flood out your house. Next, had to figure out a way to squeeze a Jimmy in here. So off of this album, Axis Bold of Love, Bold as Love. Did I say Axis Bold of Love? Yeah, I was going to start, I got some liquor back here for the little... Once I felt okay with the hurricanes, I could start drinking up a little bit. Sounds like I feel like I'm already sound like I'm already drinking. Cool fold out deal there. There you go, Jimmy. Great album. Was this his second album with the the Jimi Hendrix experience? But Castles Made of Sand. Okay. This thing's driving me crazy. Castles made of sand. Castles, sand, float into the sea eventually. Okay. We don't have seas, but we have oceans, so whatever. So, but that was my way to get Jimmy in here. And it's, it's a weird cover because it actually looks sideways. The album goes like this when you, when you open it. Oop, hit my mic. It looks like that. Oop, upside down. And I'm hitting my mic again. There's the front. And it opens that way. Funky. So this is a shelter. And there's a bridge there. I guess there's a little bit of water here sometimes. There's a bridge that goes out to Old Tampa Bay. You can see right here where the water's coming in from Old Tampa Bay into this area, into the Oldsmar area. This gives you a good idea how strong that water, or that storm is, and it's not even even with us yet. It'll be even with us in a, on a few hours. So all that water that I showed you before is coming from this. And you can see it just kind of fades out into a mist back there. There's a sidewalk right there that's normally visible and you can see where it's supposed to be right there where the park is but all this is not normally waterfront property the water usually starts right about where those probably right about where those uh the the, the foliage is there the the trees and whatever you see up ahead there i'm gonna head back home now and hang out with the family cross our fingers that we don't lose any power and we'll continue from there i'll keep you updated emergency vehicle up ahead and but there's flooding what's happening here I'm not really sure what's up next one of my favorite artists of all time Billy Joel Cold Spring Harbor wrote this whole whole album on Cold Spring Harbor and what's back here water there you go it's definitely does it, it doesn't look like water weather based or anything when you first look at it but it's back there and it's right on the on the water there where is where is cold spring harbor what what uh waterway does that touch let's just do a little research here it's a hamlet it's a hamlet I, I mean, he referred to it as a hamlet 
what is a hamlet? Cold Spring Harbor. So Hamlet's like a cove almost. And the waterway goes out to Long Island Sound and out into probably the Atlantic. Yeah, North Atlantic. So it touches, looks like the waterway that leads out to the Atlantic Ocean. Billy Joel's first album, solo-wise, we know the whole story behind it, where it was recorded, but then sent to the master tapes at the wrong speed. They didn't have, couldn't go back to the original tapes, and so all they have is Billy singing like a chipmunk on this album. They went back in the 80s and re, redid it, uh, but he, he says he still doesn't sound like he did back then, So, but it's still closer, it's more tolerable than the, I've heard the original recording, and he, yeah, it's pretty bad, he's singing too fast. But when they redid the album, they also cut some songs down, there were some songs that extended out and went into little sort of jams, they cut that off and did some things to it. So it's not even the one that's been fixed, even though they were able to fix his voice, they weren't, they still altered the songs. It is what it is, but really good songs off this. He actually went back and did Songs in the Attic, where in one or, is there just one song off of this? He, he does She's Got Away, and that became a hit off of that. But he went back and did Cold, uh, Songs in the Attic, where he, he's like, I didn't like how those songs were originally recorded, and he felt the band was really putting the energy into him live so he re-recorded some of his early stuff and put it on cold or uh, songs in the attic and she's got away was one of those i want to say did he everybody loves you now i don't think that was on songs in the attic but anyway she's got away definitely was but this has really good songs they're ballads he did this because they're like you want to be a singer songwriter well he didn't want to be a singer songwriter he just wanted to be a songwriter so they said well you got to put an album out to promote your stuff so he went and did this, and that whole debacle happened, got into a bad contract. It was so bad, he ended up leaving New York and went out to L.A. to get away from it and get out of it somehow. You get all these songs that he wrote for other people, but I, I like it. And I don't, you know, I, I sit there and ask myself, would I like this album if, it was, if, if this was it and there was no other Billy Joel music? And I probably wouldn't, honestly. But being part of it and being a Billy Joel fan... I'm, I like it, and it's not like I'm forcing myself to like it. I actually enjoy it, sing the songs and all that, but I don't know if I would have gotten into it if it, this was it. You know, I don't know how you explain that, but I, I don't make myself like it. I don't force myself into it. It's just I do enjoy the album, but I don't think I would have bought it if it was just this one. That makes sense? Maybe, I don't know. Anyway, this, on here, She's Got Away. You Can Make Me Free, Everybody Loves You Now. Like I said, that's pretty popular. Why Judy Why, Falling of the Rain, Turn Around, You Look So Good to Me, Tomorrow Is Today, Nocturne, which is the only instrumental on there, and Got to Begin Again. Billy Joel, Cold Spring Harbor. Everything is in our sunroom now from outside. Sunroom, and then we got a crazy dog running around. What's up? What are you doing out here? I don't think, my wife says it's gone up. I don't think it's gone up much. He said it's gone up some, but it seems about the same. So there's the back. Let's zoom it in. Try to go up high here so you can see it. So we'll see if that goes up or not. See like a little island there by the tree. See the swing? And in the tree, there's a little island there. Once that gets covered, then I'll be a little concerned. And we'll see where we go from there. Now, how do you follow up a Billy Joel album with another Billy Joel album? Stormfront. There you go. There's a guy just... I mentioned it in one of the videos. I don't know if I edited it out or not. But there was a guy who hangs a flag outside of his house. And he had two of these flags up today. This definitely fits the theme. There you go. Right on the freaking album cover. And there's Billy out by some kind of water. See the reeds and stuff doing his thing. One of... Um, later albums next to the last album he would put out really good songs off of this definitely getting into an older billy more contemporary music kind of thing but i can listen to this album all the way through without a without a problem there's there's two songs that are weaker for me on this to be honest with you but they're not where i'm like oh god i gotta get through them i'll, I'll get through them. i i play it in there i'll sing a little bit to it but i'm not as into it as the rest of the songs on the album which are side one that's not her style. We didn't start the fire. The Down Easter Alex, a great song about uh, the fishermen and all that in Long Island. I go to Extremes. That was a pretty big hit. And Shameless, which Garth Brooks did and, did and took off. I didn't like his version. I think Billy's is better. Then Stormfront, really cool song with brass and all that. Um, I didn't, you know, it's funny that one. I, I kind of just 
knew was there, never got into it. But years years later, as I listened to the album again, I'm like, I really got more into that song, Stormfront. Leningrad, really good song based off of his trip to Russia where he met a circus clown and they formed a friendship. And it, this is about that 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 clown in, in Russia. State of Grace, that's one of the weaker songs for me. Then When in Rome, I don't know, just When in Rome, but um, do like the Romans do. So it's, it's an okay song, but it's kind of like, you know, it's, it's okay. And then as so it go and so it goes, what a great way to end the album. Just that mellow piano piece. B Billy being depressed and cranking out a great song. There you go. Billy Joel, Stormfront. This one, there you go. It's on a beach. There it is. Ocean, water. It fits with the theme. Pink Floyd, momentary lapse of reason. What's hitting against my window right now? The rain. It's not purple rain. But it's Rain. Prince and the Revolution, Purple Rain, my favorite Prince album. Today I literally drove over a bridge that had troubled water. Bridge over troubled water. What a great album. Texas Flood. And this came out in 1982. Oh, it did come out in 83. It was recorded in 82. Couldn't stand the weather. And we're having a hurricane. This is a tornado. But there's been some tornadoes popping up. The sky is crying. This was the first album I ever picked up because I, I love Life by the Drop. Great acoustic song. Makes you miss him big time just hearing what he tears up the acoustic. No, let alone what he does with an electric guitar, but an acoustic. Forget it. Tom Waits. Rain Dogs. There you go. Splashing, still splashing against my window here. He looks like John Hyatt on here. I don't even think that's Tom Waits. Am I wrong? Though it has been remarked that the man on the cover bears a striking, res striking resemblance to Waits. The photograph is actually one of a series taken by Swedish photographer Anders Peters. So that is not Tom Waits on the cover. Maybe it's John Hyatt. But anyway, that's not Tom Waits. That's, that's what he looked like at the time. This one is Neil Young on a beach. The other one that I was gonna show you was Neil Young landing on water. This has Walk On, See the Sky About to Rain. There you go. That's a good song. So that's it. Glad you stuck with me. I'm gonna end this with some of the weather. I'm gonna get out there and do some recording. It's getting kind of dark. What time is it? It is almost seven o'clock, so it's getting dark. So I'm gonna go out there and try to get some shots and show you guys uh, what the backyard looks like and see if that's gone up at all anymore let me do that and thank you for uh, in, uh sticking with me my crazy journey of F florida beach weather crazy video albums um i had fun with it i actually just enjoyed it so um, i hope you guys did too and put in the comments if you can think of any more that i forgot hope you guys are doing good uh, if you're in florida hope you're doing well out there i know parts of florida is going to be a mess so just get out of there and, you know, forget about the worldly possessions and think about, you know, just life and get out. Keep yourself safe, your family safe. I will talk to you guys next time. Until next time, you guys enjoy your music. And here's some more of the weather. There's a big wind coming through right now. Just in time for me to come out here. But uh, it's come up a little bit. Nothing crazy. This is 7 o'clock. I don't know what, there's supposed to be another high tide at some point. So we'll see if it comes up any further. But wow, it's heavy. Yeah, look at this. Look at that rain. Look at that wind. Yeah. So if you want to compare it earlier in the video to where it was, you could use that palm tree down there as a, as a marker. So I'll keep you updated. Maybe this is a little bit better shot. I'm trying to show you the the trees moving and there's like these weird blue glowing lights. I don't know if that's lightning or what that is flashing out there in the distance. Yeah, that's that's pretty much what the wind's doing. I was told it's like maybe 35 mile per hour winds right now. The swing is, uh, <laughs> can't go swinging. Look, it's getting up higher too. Yeah, so it's coming up to the... Uh... Oh my god, because it didn't even touch the swing earlier. Yeah. Wow, so all that's filled up. So that's the corner where I turn and I live, right there. It's flooded all the way down and back there.
So it's 8 12 the next day, and the water's still up, but not as high as it got last night. I would say the water, water definitely came up into the yard, my little, what I call my little island here. That was completely covered in water. A lot of movement out here. I don't know if that's wind or if there's actually fish or something in there. But I would say it came up to probably where that sprinkler head is. Once this part filled up, it started coming right down this middle. Because we have sort of like a little trench that's naturally built, I guess, to collect water and drain it down between the houses. We'll see how long it takes for this to clear out. This whole street was completely flooded. Our whole, our whole street flooded. It was worse back there because that's lower elevation. So all that was flooded. And then you can see on the sidewalks where, where the water went up to. So you can see like right there was everything was pushed up right there onto the driveway. So that's how far the water came up to the driveways. It came from this direction down here where it filled up. And you look over here and it came from that way so this spot right over here was the last to fill up it must be the highest elevation i guess it's a lot of water to go out just like i showed you in my backyard and you, now it's flowing in the opposite direction it's definitely the opposite of yesterday because this water yesterday would have been flowing the opposite direction into this re, sort of like a retention pond back here but now you can see the sort of the retention pond emptying out back into here, which goes all the way back and travels right out to what I was calling Old Tampa Bay. Because this part right here is usually not filled up. This line here, right there, that's usually where the lake comes up to, like right about there. This this cement here and that cement's usually exposed in this this little area here is pretty dry normally. The street down here was flooded first. And that's where the water came last night down this way and then just started filling up that street that way, filling up the street that way. We can see it up there. There's a, just past the fence, there's a white van, burgundy car. It went up into, into their house. I guess they're saying they got about six inches of water into their house. That side seems to be slightly less elevated than that side. And from what I can tell, there's a white car up ahead, right up there in the median. I believe it was on the street last night, so it looks like they're drying it out. I see them taking mats out of that car and shaking them off. So I'm assuming there's some water that got up into that, that got into that car right there. flooded it looks like people cleaning them out at least three or four there this tree came down so this neighborhood seems like it got it pretty badly look at that tree right there so that old tree got uprooted yesterday wild didn't really think the wind was blowing that hard but yes it was Pieces of fence missing. You know, I just passed a above ground pool that definitely moved and broke a piece of fence away. And it seems to be like furniture, like outdoor furniture, things like that, that are just in random spots. So I don't know if the water picked those up and moved them last night. Just everybody cleaning up and trying to get back to normal. I can't imagine what it looks like where this thing actually hit.